Hey guys, Chakra is or Killbot here, and welcome to another episode of Pre-Game Chat. As requested, you guys wanted to know some jungle tips for early game, so today I'm going to give you guys two strategies that you can use and hopefully improve your early game. The first tip is very simple. When the game starts, you rush to their top buff. More often than not, no one will be there to defend it. The game I'm showing you right now is in Diamond 1, and you can really use this strategy in any elo bracket. In Champion Select, inform your teammates that you're going to pull this off, and try to have them follow you. If someone does come to check, you can always try to kill them with the help of your teammates, and either steal the buff, despite the enemy team knowing you're there, or just back off and do your own buffs. Either way, you'll gain quite an advantage from this strategy. If you do decide to do this, however, tell your soul laners to go immediately back to lane and do the buff alone. Why? Well, if the enemy sees the laner coming to lane from a weird position, they'll suspect something and they'll call out your play and the enemy jungler might steal your buff as a result. It will also help if you ask your bot lane to fake a leash, so the enemy team doesn't suspect of anything, but it's not 100% needed. Point being is that you should communicate beforehand to make sure everything goes well. Just as a side note, I'm smiting my buffs early because the chance of them being contested is slim and this way I'll have smite up for all the 3 buffs I take. The second strategy is changing your jungling route and going from top buff to bottom buff. I usually do this in two situations. One, I tried to invade their top buff and was found out. Running to my own bottom buff takes too long, so I just go to my top buff. Two, I'm versus a strong dueler like Lee Sin, Evelyn, Rengar or Kha'Zix and I want to avoid their second buff invade. This is especially good for the second point I mentioned. If they don't know you started at your top buff and tried to invade, they'll waste a lot of time wandering to your jungle just to find an empty camp. The other big advantage of this strategy is the gank. Early on, bot lane will usually use trinket wards to keep lane brush vision and prevent advantages from the enemy support. This means that usually they won't have a single ward in river. This makes up for extremely easy ganks that will net you at least summoners burned if not kills. Ganking mid with the strategy is also easy to do. Usually the mid laner will ward topside expecting you to gank from there, since the usual route is bot buff to top buff. If you gank from bot side, you're coming in from a blind spot and will easily get the drop on them. So yeah, that's all for this episode of pregame chat. I hope you enjoy the strategies and use them and have success with them. I'm going to leave a poll for the last two episodes of pregame chat so you get to choose what you want to see next. And that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the rift. Shakara signing out.